All right, we're out here at Hernando Park uh, with one of the city council members, uh, Blake Bell, to kind of talk about what the city uh, has been and kind of where it's going and, and the booming economy that is uh, happening here. So Blake, uh, maybe kind of explain, you know, you've been a uh, city councilman now for a year and a half or so, kind of explain, you know, the path that you've guys gotten us on here in the city. Yeah, well, we're excited in the city of Brooksville because um, as you know, the state of Florida is booming right now with people moving here from all all areas of the country uh, it's no different uh, in Brooksville so we have a booming economy right now and that's because a lot of people appreciate the free state of Florida the free state of Brooksville and what it means and the in the lower taxes and less regulation and we're just trying to build off of that uh, from a city council standpoint we're trying to make sure that when you buy a house here it's an easy process when you build a house here when you build a business when you start a business when you grow a business whatever it means to get government out of the way, that's our goal from a city standpoint. Uh, so, so we believe in, in um, you know, the free market uh, thriving and we believe in the individual having the say in their business and in their home. So in those types of areas, we believe that uh, Brooksville is a great place to live because of that. Yeah, and I would have to say that, you know, just being a small business owner uh, operating here in the last few years, uh, you can see a big difference in the city and how local government is trying to help business owners, you know, create and run businesses and, and trying to build houses here when we know that we need more housing and stuff like that. And having a city council team uh, supporting that endeavor is, is great news. So uh, maybe explain some of the, the interesting things that you guys have uh, started putting on here in the city yeah. to, uh, you know, give it that community uh, feel that we all love about yeah. Brooksville. Well, you know, Brooksville is fortunate to be the city seat and, um, or, or the county seat, excuse me. Let me redo that. Brooksville is fortunate to be the county seat. And what that means is our courthouse is based here. We have a traditional old time square. So we have a good flow for um, um, festivals and activities and concerts. And we have partnered as a city with a group called Brooksville Main Street. Brooksville Main Street is no different than the uh, Florida Main Street programs you see in other cities. But our Brooksville Main Street and our Main Street program uh, is much more active, I think, than a lot of other Main Street programs. And, and on Friday nights in this um, area and on this field right here and, and in this band show right here, we have concert a concert series uh, throughout the year. And you'll see thousands of people in this park right here. And what that means is our downtown area, our restaurants and our shops and our local businesses, it, it benefits them because my idea as a council member is we want to get those people in the front door. So just like a convenience store, uh, it's not necessarily about the, uh, the gas that people are buying. They want those people to come through the convenience store because once they're yeah. through the door, they buy a bag of chips, a Snickers bar, and a Coca-Cola. Same thing with a city. You know, we want to draw people in as a city. And once they're here and once they're in our downtown, they're going to go to our local restaurants and our shops and our, you know, ice cream places. And they're going to purchase stuff there and they're going to buy stuff there. And that's a good thing. So our Brooksville Main Street program helps facilitate that. Uh, the city is um, uh, supporting those efforts and that's a good thing. Yeah, we talked about that with uh, one of the local business owners here, Bobby Reed, earlier. Um, you know, when we talked about the water tower story mm -hmm. and all that funny things that happened there. Uh, but yes, absolutely. Uh, got to have a big thanks out to the Brooksville Main Street yep. and everything that they do for our city and you know I've been to these festivals down here uh, specifically the Friday Night Lights and the Blueberry Festival and even last year I got the opportunity to be here for the um, Christmas tree lighting ceremony I did miss Christmas festivities but I can tell you if it was anything um, like it was for the Christmas tree lighting then I'm sure that the rest of the festivals that took place during yep. Christmas time were wonderful as well um, and so you know uh, maybe explain like you know how we're going to continue to expand that yeah. uh, as we move forward uh, over the next few years. Well you know we have um, uh, David and I are new council members David Bailey and I are new council members to the city council um, and we have an election in November um, for to replace two of the outgoing members of the city council and then there's an election for one of the um, current uh, members of the city council but I think a council as a whole is moving more towards um, developing those types of uh, attention drawlers and, and getting people into the city. 
So things, partnering with Brooksville Main Street more to put more festivals on, to put more concerts on. Our tree lighting, I, I have messages, you know, I post things about the tree lighting um, on social media and I hear from people in Florida and I hear people from out of the state, they're like, y'all live in a Hallmark movie. Yeah. It's like the most spectacular <laughs> thing in living. I mean, better than Disney, better than any of these, yeah. you know, things you pay to go to. Um, and it's in our downtown Brooksville area. And we have thousands, I think they had over 10,000 people come to that tree lighting last year. And the Bl Blueberry Festival had over 30,000 people come to it. So those activities are stuff that the city council is gonna continue to support moving forward. And that's great news because this is a Hallmark town. Like, you know, you walk around and you just happen to know everybody yep. that you, you see familiar faces everywhere. And it's just a beautiful place to live. And we love the community here. And um, Blake and I, we grew up together. Uh, we also graduated high school at the same time and, you know, we kind of both left uh, the area uh, and somehow we both were drawn back here because of that community that Brooksville offers and, uh, you know, we love this area and glad to be calling it home again. So Blake, really appreciate you coming yeah, out here today absolutely. and spend a little bit of time of, you know, talking about the city and why it's so great. Yeah, well, if you're hearing this and you're not close to Brooksville but you're making a trip to Florida soon, come visit us in Brooksville because it's the great place to come to and visit and, and bring your family to. And it's centrally located. The most centrally located. Correct. The most centrally located area right here in the heart of Florida um, and specifically the uh, nature coast. That's so, right. all right, brother. Thank you. Thank you.